ABC 40 meteorologist Eric Fisher explains just what goes into tracking a storm. Mass DOT is outstanding, uh, mostly out by Westfield, the points west, so the roads could be a little slippery, as Eric mentioned. The scenes and sounds of winter can come in many forms. Unfortunately for us, none of them are easy to forecast. Could be perhaps talking about some wintry weather, and we'll talk more about that in just a while from now. But contrary to popular belief, the weather is not something those pesky meteorologists make up. At the root of it all is a weather lab, much like this one. Where even in a technological age, string and balloons are still the method of choice. These balloons, called radio sons, are sent skyward with just enough equipment to tell us what's going on in the atmosphere. We have the temperature sensor and the pressure sensor. We also have a battery. Mike is the man in charge today and is happy to see blue skies across Cape Cod. It's not always the case. We watch in all types of weather, whether it's rain or snow or sleet or calm winds or, you know, um, hurricane type winds. Some last minute checks, and it's time to fly. Well, this balloon has a long journey ahead of it. At the end of its flight, it'll go nearly 100,000 feet in the air, more than 150 miles away, and could be as wide as 29 feet across. Balloon away. As soon as it lifts off, information is sent back to the weather lab and paints a picture of the air above us. We call that picture a sounding. This is a plot of the relative humidity and of the temperature uh, of the flight so far in the first 30 minutes or so. A balloon is sent up twice a day from 92 different spots across the country. The soundings provide the basis for our forecast by telling us what may fall. It all depends on how warm or cold the air above us is. A thin layer of sub-freezing air at the ground will give you freezing rain. A thicker layer gives you sleet, and if it's cold all the way up, you get snow. And when we're confident of what's going to happen, you get your local forecast. Off to the north and the west, across the Berkshires, that's where they'll see all snow, anywhere between 8 to 12 inches of snow. A long journey with an important result. Eric Fisher, ABC 40.